guys, this is Coding Cleverly with another new video. Today's video is going to be about priority queues. In the previous videos, we've been discussing about the standard template library support for the stacks and queues. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing about priority queues. Now, there are two kinds of priority queues. One is called a max heap and one is the min heap. Now, max heap is the, basically the priority queue, with, which is default. Now, I got this code from a reference source, which is basically in the description. So you could check that out. It's basically geeksforgeeks.org and they pretty much had this explained and I'm just gonna go into this code and I'm gonna uh, teach you how this thing actually works. So the first thing here is that by default C++ creates a max heap for priority queue. Now what is the heck is this? We have this hash include queue defined inside. We have an IO stream defined inside. We have a using namespace standard and we have this function. So let's just ignore this a little and just come to the main logic. So over here this is how we define a priority queue. Pretty much similar to how we define stacks and queues in STL. So we have priority underscore queue and then we have the int or any kind of variable we want. Over here we got the identifier which is gquiz. Now there's a semicolon at the end indicating that this is actually defined. So if we want to insert any elements inside we have 10, 30, 20, 5, and 1. And these are five elements. So actually how a priority queue works is basically that it is sorted in non-increasing order. And now that means that it's in sorted like um, the first one which is going to be 20 which is the maximum and then after that just like a max heap so max heap meaning the maximum number first and then so sorry not 20 but 30 30 is the maximum number then after that is 20 so after 20 is 10 and then after 10 is 5 and then after 5 is 1 so this is how it's going to be sorted in a priority queue which is a max heap so after this this is the priority queue g quiz is so what happened here is that we use this show priority queue which is pq and then we put this g quiz inside of it now g quiz is going to go in here so this is the function it has a void means that it doesn't return any kind of variable but what it does is that it has a priority queue int g which is um I, I would say that it is intermediary inside of it which is not a permanent and you could check over here that this is passed by just like you know not by passed by reference but it's just creating a copy over here in the input parameters so gq is over here it's going to be assigned to this so we just created a copy which is g now now we say g is not equal to empty so the content if the contents are not empty what you do is basically you top it out so whatever the top is so in this case what we had so if i could go back 30 which is going to be on the top so 30 is going to be shown and then after that it's going to pop the 30 so 30 will be deleted and then it's going to show the top again uh, you can see that it's not empty so it's going to show the top which is 20 um, then it's going to pop the 20 then it's going to show the 10 then it's going to pop the 10 then it's going to show the 5 it's going to pop the 5 it's going to show 1 it's going to pop the 1 so once it's done and once it's empty you just get a, a brand new line and then after that the execution continues here so what happens is this is that the the thing is that this is what this was actually a priority queue which was g now it doesn't affect our priority queue which is over here so what you're going to see is the size is still going to be the same exact thing so whatever we had over here so whatever we had here this is still exactly the same over here was just a demonstration to show the elements inside so there's no other specific way now over here what we have is the size so the size for this is basically one two three four and five so we could go over here we could go and put five here now on the top you see that the one that is on the most recent so so we have um we have 30 20 10 5 and 1 so the line which has the top meaning the one that is right in front of the line which is 30 so this is 30 is going to be over here right now we could pop so popping 30 so you know what's left after 30 is popped we have 20 we have 10 we have 5 and we have one so it's not going to show it's just going to pop it meaning it's just going to delete it with this action which is right here and once it shows again you'll see this 20 10 and 5 1 so let's just run this code so let i save this code now i'm going to go into my cmd i'm going to run this code so i'm going to go in cmd and now I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to say g plus plus i'm going to have this pri already q and i'm just going to hit the run button and there you go you have an error here that says 25 line and we have this I forgot to comment 25 line so let's see 25 yep i forgot to comment here so let me just comment this save this again i'm gonna go back to my cmd so hopefully it's this one so i'm just gonna run this now um there's no error 
and then run it. So now let's compare this. The priority queue qu G quiz is 30, 20, 10, 5, and 1. Now you can see that it's in max heap, meaning non-increasing order to defend it. Even though we had these in random fashion, we had them sorted in random fashion, we still got them in ascending. So then after that, we got the size, which is five. We got the top, which was 30. And then we pop basically popped it. And then once we showed it 20, 10, 5, 1. That was pretty much it with max heap uh, priority queue. There's also a min heap, which I'm going to be covering in the next video. If you like this video, give, give it a like, share it with your friends. And yes, support my channel by subscribing. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Peace out.